Hi YouTube friends, welcome. Join me because today we're going to be tying the doubled Celtic button knot. I'm going to start this one off by forming an overhand loop. And then next to it, I'm going to form another overhand loop. then I'm going to place that right loop over the top of the left just so they overlap then I can grab my working end and I want to go down through that right section and then up through the center and then down through the left I'm just going to pull that all the way through here next I can take it over the strand that runs down the bottom here and then down through this very right hand gap and then lastly I want to take it up next to the strand that runs down here so next to that strand I want to come up through the knot just to the right of it so that will finish our first pass and now we just want to follow this knot all the way around again so we want to follow that strand the strand here all the way around the knot following the overs and the unders so here it goes under then it comes around just want to make sure that it stays nice and parallel that we don't cross up the strands comes around here it's going under this time goes around over these two and then under So just keep following the knot until you get to the end. We're almost there, over two, under two. come through here and then instead of coming up on this side here on the right side we are going to come up right through this center here so we're going to go down through here and then up through the center So now all it's left to do is to tighten. So we can fold this over and we can start to pull slack through the knot. And you're going to have to start at one side and work your way through the whole knot. So just start here at one side and then start working slack through 
until you get to the other side of the knot. Just work it all the way through bit by bit until you get to the other side, which we've done. And now it's starting to take shape. And you can see there's a little opening at the base. We just want to form something that will go into that base. So I'm just going to do an overhand knot here at the very end. Just pull that to the very end of my paracord here and I can just cut that off just makes a tiny ball and we can put that in the center of the knot and then proceed to tighten this thing up around that ball so I'm going to go ahead and do that now so once you've gone through again and tightened, you should end up with your finished doubled Celtic button knot. If you like this kind of thing, go ahead and hit the subscribe button because here we talk about both decorative and functional knots. Thanks for watching. I like you all and I will see you on the next video.